So it's the end of January. The birds are starting to return to the garden after a long winter. There are one or two birds that have been with us right through the winter. The wood pigeons. They're always a favourite in the garden. And there's always some seed around for them. Normally in a couple of pairs. But there seem to be two predominant pairs that visit constantly. They'll either eat off the floor or they'll eat from the trays where the seed is. The other visitor that can be seen through the winter is the robin. The robin's always around. Maybe not so much in the winter. From early morning when the fog's around in the mist, to later on in the day, it's one of the birds that'll tend to stay around during the whole of the day. And he certainly loves the mealworms when we put those into the tray. He jumps right in and gets amongst the food, the best way to eat. I've noticed the robin quite likes to just sit on the fence, just seeing what's around. And of course there's a bird bath where it certainly likes to go down and have a drink. I guess all that seed makes him quite thirsty. He often poses for some really nice shots. You just can't beat a robin image. One of the first returning birds after the winter is the blackbird. Initially this year, we had one female and it looked like three males. I guess they're all looking to win over the female and to claim the territory. Eventually, we just end up with one male and one female. Here's one of the males, just stomping its ground across the top of the fence. I love the birds in slow motion, that one as he jumps off the fence looks fantastic. And here's one of the other males sitting on the opposite side of the garden in the tree. I like to feed in the grass, particularly under the bird feeder, where the starlings have dropped all the fat balls. And of course, they do find the occasional worms. Again, another visitor to the bird bath. This time of year, not so much to have a bath, but more to just have a drink.
next we have an unusual visitor to the garden. It's a little wren that keeps popping around. I've seen him quite regularly lately. Hopefully he'll stick around. And then of course the next ones that move in, the starlings. They come in force. They squabble, they fight over the food. And they throw the food all over the place. They're actually beautiful colours when they when they sit in the sun. Their feathers just light up. And you see some amazing colours in them which you really take for granted normally. They can tend to be a bit piggish the way they eat. And they'll tend to throw the seed and food around as much as they eat it. But at least that gives a chance for some of the other birds to pick it up off the floor, I suppose. The next visitors to return to the garden are the collared doves. These are beautiful little birds. When you look at them, they're so pretty and quite delicate. They always come in pairs and I'm guessing normally there's one pair around, sometimes two, but mostly one. And I think they're probably the same pair that come back to the garden every year. They're quite skittish birds. And sometimes they can be quite difficult to photograph because they don't want to stick around while you're taking the images. These ones were taken from indoors, so it wasn't really a problem. But even then, if they see you moving around, they won't stay around too long. So you do need to be quite still while you're photographing them. It's great to see the blue tits back as well. They tend to sit high up in the tree, quite cautious, but then will drop down to the feeders and gradually as they get more and more comfortable, they'll come more and more often. They actually seem to quite like the sunflower hearts that we're putting out. They'll come and get some seed and then return back to the tree to eat the seed. Beautiful birds, stunning colours and lovely to watch. Unfortunately this time I didn't actually capture many images, so it's just the video for now. But as time goes on I'm sure we'll get some more images. This one hanging upside down, eating the seeds from the dead plants from last year. And not long behind the blue tit comes the great tits. Again, not to the feeders but up in the trees at the moment. And just to finish off the day we get a red kite fly over the top. Beautiful bird, absolutely stunning and so graceful as it flies. Great to see the birds return into the garden and hopefully that's just the start. Thanks for watching.